Here we are, a 2010 Toyota Corolla. Um, I got uh, TechStream Lite uh, software installed here, so we're just going to play with it and see all the stuff it can do. Um, up in the left hand corner, you have your system select. So you actually choose which uh, system you want to go into. We want to go into powertrain, engine, and uh, uh, engine computer controls. And it's going into that. And over on the left hand side, you can select through your data list. Um, it brings up all the PIDs available, which is way too many to, to deal with here, as you can see. If I scroll to the, to the right, got all the different uh, PIDs available. Um, you can also go to active tests. Um, these are all the different tests it has fuel control volume. Uh, there's a whole lot of uh, tests available. This is a factory level tool um, and you can actually uh, just go here um, activate the starter relay just so you see the keys over there nothing's going on I'm over here and you just hit OK on the scanner and this will actually test the starter relay you just hit this button it'll actually fire the car up for you so now we got the car running and as it's running, you can see all the uh, data PIDs available. I mean, there's a ton of stuff available. This is, like I said, this is a factory level scan tool. You can actually rent this <coughs> uh, use of this software from Toyota for $55 for two days. Um, and it's a pretty, pretty hefty tool. Um, what you can actually do here is if you select, uh, you can select your own data list at the bottom. Click on Data Manager, you can clear everything out, and then you're going to take the stuff from the left hand side of the screen that you want, that you have, and put it to the right hand side of the screen. Like, say, if we want to see engine speed, and let's say calculated load, mass airflow sensor, it's measuring grams per second, and uh, you know, let's say accelerator position sensor, and both of those. You pick the data per parameters you want to look at and uh, let's maybe look at an O2 sensor this is a fuel a fuel air ratio sensor not an O2 sensor on these cars these new ones but you have all those PIDs available to you and I hope this is coming out and oh, I can't see it here I passed it up um, I think I might have Pass it up here. Um, anyhow, there we go. That's your uh, air sense, air fuel sensor monitors. You also have your. Um, these are all the PIDs we're scrolling through. There's so much stuff available. Um, there you go, you got your target air fuel ratio, and you actually got your lambda, and then you also have your air fuel sensor voltage and air fuel sensor current. You highlight those, click them over, they'll all end up on this thing, and you click OK. And now these you can look at all these values, and it gives you a pretty quick uh, update on all of them. Now if you want to graph them, you hit the graph button at the bottom, and you select what you'd like to graph. And we're, let's look at, uh, say, engine speed, calculated, well, let's go mass airflow sensor and uh, accelerator uh, sensor number one. And uh, let's keep a look at our oxygen sensor current, stuff like that. And what you do is you actually double click on which ones you want. Like this is the air fuel sensor ratio current. And I'll give you a pretty quick, uh, it's a pretty live plot. Uh, quick graphing it'll do. Um, and if you want to look at uh, your accelerator position sensor and also let's say uh, the mass airflow sensor. So now we actually have uh, three PIDs up we're graphing um, and if we hit the hide button it'll take away the thing on the left and give us a full screen. And this gives us a good look at what's going on as you see your mass airflow sensor 
you just bring up the RPM, it'll slowly, slowly climb. But if you give it a good whack of air, you'll actually see it. Uh, you know, you can see the volume getting into the engine. And that shows you the live graphing. Now, the less uh, the less PIDs we select, the more um, the faster the graph will be. So if we have less stuff on here, it'll update the refresh rate is much faster. Let me go to full screen and this will be your um, mass airflow sensor here. It gives you a nice big clear picture of what's going on. Um, this also has a cranking compression test. A lot of these uh, newer uh, PC based uh, scanners do have this type of tests and uh, to actually do the test what you do you can hit the back button and I'm just going to turn the key off here turn the key back on go to active tests and you go to check cylinder compression and you hit OK and I'll be honest with you I, I'm not uh, you click this you tap the starter and it'll continue cranking for 10 seconds. And I think I was supposed to be on the uh, data list for um, engine R cylinder RPM, and that's where it would show up. And I wasn't there. Most most uh, like a Ford IDS will automatically put you to that uh, uh, list, but this doesn't. So we gotta go to a compression data list. There we are on a compression data list, and now we just go back into active test. And we're going to find the uh, cylinder compression. Check cylinder compression. OK. And I'm going to go ahead and hit the start button and then tap the starter. And if you had a dead cylinder, one of these would be a different uh, number, but they're all the same, so we're all in good shape. I should. You pull a spark plug and see what happens there. Um, by the way, I'm using a Bosch Flasher Pro um, as my interface device instead of a TechStream light. So once you have a Bosch Flasher Pro, you can get all of this, these functions, um, you know, with just a Bosch Flasher Pro and a $55 TechStream light subscription. So we also go into uh, body control systems. And we can also go into a combination meter, which is the instrument cluster. It'll give you codes and data. If we go to active test and a combination meter, um, you can turn on all the different indi indicators. And uh, this is all a list of stuff that will let you uh, go through. Um, but like if you go to like uh, tachometer operation, you hit OK. And then when you hit the button, it'll put the tach at uh, certain values. Just hit the OK button and uh, it'll put it at 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, all the way through. Uh, well, let me do 8,000, too bad. <laughs> but um, you can do that for each gauge and uh, do vehicle speed sensor, double click on it. Uh, exit out of the one first and double click on speedometer. Should do the same thing. I bet you it's going to go in increments of, of uh, 10 miles an hour or something. We'll see. About 40, 80, 120. And that won't let us go no faster than that. It's too bad. But this is TechStream Lite, and it's a fantastic factory-level uh, scan tool.